You must be the change that you wish to see in the world. That's Mahatma Gandhi. What change do you want to see? By a show of hands, who has volunteered their time to do community service work? Okay. Was it time at a soup kitchen? Did you ever donate clothes or anything of your own house? What about even like a 5K run or walk? Yeah, for you active people. My name is Kelsey Sepulveda, and I'll be talking about high school graduation requirements in Arizona and how community service should be a requirement to graduate. I am a regular volunteer, if that's a word, and it all started out with a New Year's resolution. I wanted to give back to my community and be more involved, so I committed to myself to do one activity a month. And it did start off in high school, because at the high schools, there's always the blood donations, and that's something that you can do a few times a year. I also regularly did participate in activities at my church as well. And so I really do like to be involved in my community. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Yeah. Wait, is it that one? Is that the first one? Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> So, baby boomers, they always have something to say negatively about us millennials or Generation Z, how we are always on social media, caught up in what's going on in Hollywood and so forth. To resolve that stigma, I believe that community service should be required to graduate. So some of the pros to graduating with this requirement would be you'd be competitive at schools and colleges, you'd finish school sooner, and this is also the basis for lifelong volunteerism. I know you, what you may be thinking is how could anyone oppose volunteering? Some people may think it's against our 14th Amendment, slavery is illegal. So we'd be forcing students to do community service. Some may also think that high school seniors, they have a lot going on, finals, prom, graduation. So they do procrastinate and in the springtime you'll see a lot of them scouring for volunteer hours. Some may also compare it to a punishment since that is what the legal system will do to prisoners. What I have to say about that is usually the prisoners, it's a light punishment instead of a harsher one. Also, sometimes the prisoners do get paid. Here are some of the graduation requirements for Arizona. It's 22 credit hours during the four-year period. They also have to pass the civics test, get 60 out of 100. There's no longer an AIMS test required to pass high school, so they did drop that requirement like two or three years ago. So since they took that requirement away, I believe that they should add in the community service requirement to stand in. Community service would offer a lot to their future and their opportunity. It would provide them with time management, leadership, and professional skills. It would help them in their career and what they may want to do, which doesn't have to be college, but anything that you want to do further on in life, it would help with that. Even get letter of recommendations, like if you were to work, volunteer at a doctor's office or like the zoo, you can get a letter of recommendation to use for your future career. Most of us want to do community service, but only one of four of us actually do. That's coming from Washington Post, and that was back in 2004. Two states do require students to do community service to graduate. That's Washington, D.C. and Maryland, and that's from the Department of Labor Statistics. Some states already have it built into their curriculum, 
or they offer like a half credit to one credit, and that's 23 of our states. So half, the other half of the country, there aren't any requirements for community service to graduate. Here are some things you can do for community service that some people may overlook. Besides doing a walk or run, or even going to a soup kitchen, you can volunteer at Habitat for Humanity, and they offer decent places for people to live. Also, if you're like a legal student or are already a law student or lawyer, you can offer legal services pro bono. And then there's also Neighborhood of Good, which is a website you can go to to check out volunteer opportunities for causes that matter to you in your neighborhood. Here are some facts from Phoenix Rescue Mission. In Maricopa County, there are 25,000 homeless people, 36,000 in Arizona alone. One in, one in 184 are homeless. Just help me help them sign this petition to give to the, the Department of Education to pass a law requiring 50 hours to be completed in order for a high school student to graduate. Well, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. That's by Winston Churchill, and I use that because, you know, life is not based off of 